Paul Ryan is, it's shameful what Paul Ryan did. He said, you know what? I've got a little bit of time and before my flight on the way to the airport, let's stop at a soup kitchen and I don't know, do something to make it seem like we're good people. Turns out that they, <laughs> this is just unbelievable. They stop over at an Ohio charity for the homeless and they do a photo op. Now it was revealed after pictures like this one were released that number one, they weren't invited to go there. Number two, that this is a soup kitchen that is a, uh, it's nonpartisan. Brian Antle, who's the president, is objecting to the photo op and said, not only did they not clear this, not only did we not want them here, they didn't even really do anything. Everybody had already left. We had already cleaned all the dishes and everything. And Paul Ryan grabbed clean pans and pretended to clean them in order to get a photo op. He was there a few minutes and then they left. Incredible. I have a little bit of video here from this incident. Let's take a look at it and see if we can make heads or tails out of it, Lewis, please. How are you going to get volunteer today? What's your name? Yes, Anya Paul. Nice to meet you. This is my daughter, Liza, and this is Sam. And I got other ones. And that's Charlie and Mrs. And Janice. Probably. What's your name? Hey, Jake. What are you looking for? Are you volunteering here? Right. This is really important. It's really important. This is, this is important, incredibly important stuff. So now they're putting on aprons. Now, as you can see, it's, everything's very, very clean there. There is this one pan in the sink, which again, according to the, uh, <laughs> according to the charity president, everything was already clean and they're going through the whole routine, the whole rigmarole, and they're going to clean some pans here. And the press is just absolutely loving it. Now let's go back. That, this is enough of the video. I'm feeling actually a little bit nauseous, but let's look actually at the picture that we have here. If you look at Paul Ryan's wife, she has this kind of disgusted look on her face, which could be one of two things, Lewis. It could be number one, that she's disgusted that even though the pans are clean, Paul Ryan is even pretending to be cleaning pans. Or she could be disgusted that this entire thing is fake. Maybe she has some morals and she's disgusted that they would stage and fake this entire thing in an un unwelcome setting. What do you think? Uh, we may be looking into it too much. I mean, it's just a photograph and I don't know. She could be doing any number of things. And <laughs> anyone can look weird in a photograph for, for a million reasons. But this, it, this is what we do know, Lewis. Pure exploitation. We, we have a guy in Paul Ryan who, let's be honest, he, he lied about his marathon experience, uh, his marathon performance when he ran a marathon. He lied through the entire vice presidential debate. There's a clear trend of dishonesty everywhere. So I'm not at all surprised that they would stage this photo op, unwelcome photo op at, a, uh, at an Ohio charity. It's uh, pretty insane. I don't know why they didn't just kick them out. Uh, can you really know. kick out the vice presidential candidate? Of course you can. Natan, what do you think? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to think about this. I just assume that politicians, uh, when they do photo shoots in situations like this, it's for the most part, it's not legitimate. They're, they weren't actually doing anything. The only uh, problem is when it's not a legitimate photo op, cameras aren't able to just shut the whole thing down. It still is able to photograph and then it gets posted to the Internet. That's the disappointing thing. Well, in a way, that's kind of like shutting it down. It's not like this picture just appears on the front page of a newspaper with a headline that says uh, Paul Ryan. Great guy, you know? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, it's a good thing that these cameras are rolling and we see him cleaning a, a clean tray, <laughs> you know? Yeah. All right. Well, it would be great if cameras were able to shut the whole thing down. Let's put it that way. Maybe.